Oh my goodness. Where's that bitch at? Where's that bitch at? Where you, yeah, he's dead. He's, he's like way dead. Need to reload him! What's going on, you guys and gals? Thanks for stopping back to the channel. Today, we're going to dive into a little bit about what we know for sure coming out with Operation Glasshouse, which is coming very soon, uh, including weapons, skins, and of course, a new map, and uh, most likely, uh, almost certainly, a new game mode. Uh, before we do get into that, though, um, if you enjoy this video, I hope you'll consider maybe giving it that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done it already. Um, I really, really su appreciate the support you guys have given me over the last handful of months, several months here, and uh, really uh, can't be overstated. Um, if you'd really like to go that extra step and help out a little bit more, um, you can do something as simple as just sharing a video or sharing this channel with somebody you know might enjoy the content or get something out of it. So with that out of the way, let's dive right into it. So, what we know for sure, new map is prison. Insurgents have escaped from the cells of Mubarak. It is up to the security to either regain control or face their ultimate demise during the ensuing riot. Get ready for prison. Ooh, okay. So, we might be able to make some inferences here, obviously. Now, so this map, by the way, if you did not know, uh, was a community-made map uh, for a contest uh, that won um, kind of a while ago now, but uh, is now becoming an official map. So. This isn't going to be the exact same map as was available for a short time after it won the contest. Well, it's going to be very, very much the same, but, you know, NWI and, uh, and the dev team has taken the map and now is, is going to optimize it and make it work for all of their assets as opposed to it being just a modded map. So it's going to not only be the map that you may have played before, but it's going to be a much more stable version of it where everything should work the way it's supposed to. Um, now, also... You've got uh, the, the description here is interesting because it's talking about a potential riot and uh, how the security forces are going to have to try to quell that if they want to survive. This might be inferring some sort of new game mode called riot control or something to that effect, which could be a lot of fun. Uh, insurgents have taken control of like the armory or something and have gotten their, their hands on some weapons. And now the security forces have got to come in and, and uh, put them down. Uh, whatever that may be, it'll be interesting to see what kind of a new game mode we do get. I think that ambush was a lot of fun for for some people, but just ultimately did not hit enough uh, of the player base. Um, and I, you know, I feel like it's probably one of the least played modes in the game right now for PvP. Um, not that it isn't good, it just didn't have the popularity I think that it seemed like it might. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where they go with this. Two new shotguns are also coming to the game: uh, the KS23 and the KSG. And I, while I'll be honest with you, I kind of think that um, maybe another one or two marksman rifles or MGs would have been probably uh, a little more wanted. Um, these weapons do make more sense considering the the prison nature of this new map. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I would still love to see a couple of new either DMRs or bolt action rifles or one of each. Um, come for that marksman class and a couple new MGs would be great, but these, these shotguns do make a lot of sense and um, We'll have to see You know how what their effectiveness is compared to the other two that are already in the game But this does make a ton of sense and, and, and you can't be too Too worked up about whether or not you, this is what you wanted exactly from weapons or not You cannot argue that this does make the most sense uh, for a weapon class getting getting two new items in it based on the map structure Something else that we got just recently, uh, which was, I, I think, kind of unexpected to some extent at least. Uh, we got something called Night Battle, which was something that was in this game a while back. And a lot of people enjoyed the heck out of it, and they took it out, and they never really put it back in. And um, it was all but forgotten about until just earlier this week. And now you are able to do PvP modes um, in night settings with MPGs, um, flashlights, what have you. Uh, there is... Basically, every game mode in PvP is put into the night battle mode itself, and it seems to be a random draw. Um, whether or not you're going to get a domination or a firefight or a front lines or a push, um, but you could get any one of them. The ambush may be even, uh, is possibly even in there. Um, people seem to be liking it a lot, but don't get too excited about it just yet because it does very clearly say on there limited time, and I believe there's only 11 days, 10 or 11 days left on it. We'll see if they listen to the community here on this one and, and 
keep this around a little bit longer because it sure seems like something that people are very, very much inter interested in having uh, as more of a mainstay than it, clearly it has been in the past or it looks like it might be now. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. I do appreciate the hell out of it. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon.